Hello and welcome back to another bloody good vaping. So today I'm going to be taking a look at a little mod out of Russia, a little regulated, beautiful little box like this one, and that is the Stratum Lux by Victor Olk. I hope I said that right, Victor O-L-C. Now, it's an 18650 mod, uh, funnily enough. I mean, look at the size of it. It stands at 76 mil in height, absolutely tiny. 18650 mod with a SX350 chip upgraded to 60 watts. Uh, made from a nickel there, as you can see. Uh, really nice, shiny, fingerprint fucking monstrosity. Um, and very prone to scratching as well. But beautiful, absolutely beautiful to look at. Um, now, it also has a mini USB, obviously for charging and any upgrades that needed to be done. And also has two little tactile switches on the side there to control your wattage if you don't want to use that bloody annoying tilt function. Has a spring-loaded brass 510 as well, and comes with two sleeves to uh, cover your battery compartment. One is the uh, sort of an aluminium, a black aluminium, and the other one is nickel, just like the, the, the plate itself. So really quite nice. Easy to pull out, and just to review, uh, remove to see your battery there. Absolutely tiny, really well compact as well. Now, the uh, positive is actually on the bottom of this one, and we have the negative on the top as well, unlike what we're used to, usually the other way around. But now on this one, the positive is on the bottom. And also, which is quite a nice little touch on this, you can actually take out the 510 on the mod itself and adjust it to have your air holes wherever you want to place them, really. So if you're a bit OCD and like your air holes can be completely flush with your switch and your screen, then you can do that. If you like them away from you, then you can do that or to the side as well, which is a really nice little touch. Incredibly small um, and really discreet as well. It's almost like a handbag mod. Not that I have a handbag or ever will, but it is really, really small and stealthy. Uh, I mean, it's the Hurricane, which I've got on the top here, the V1.2, is almost as big as the fucking mod itself. It's uh, quite unbelievable. And if you have a small little RDA on the top, like, say, where is it? The micro dripper that I've got here then it becomes an incredibly stealthy little device indeed, um, almost hidden completely away by your hand. Really is small and uh, compact. Now, before I get into any more details about this, um, what I think about it, price, etc., 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 let's go down to the table now, have a look at it up close, um, take a little look inside. I'll show you how to do the uh, 510 thing for your air holes, and then we'll come back and give it a bloody good vaping. Safe. So here you have your Stratum Lux, made from a nickel there, with a black aluminium sleeve. The sleeves are removable. Takes an 18650 battery. The positive is actually on the bottom of this, and the negative is on the top. We are used to it being the other way around. But uh, yeah, the positive is on the bottom now. There's your positive, and there's your negative at the top there. Have the nickel sleeve here, although I'm pretty too scared to use the nickel sleeve on it all the time. It does give it that full shiny look there, like so. However, it is a fingerprint nuance and also just be prone to scratching at any given moment. So uh, I prefer to use the black one anyway for look and it just has a little bit more grip on it. Now it's incredibly small this. It's just over 76 mil in height. Just over 37 mil in sort of length there, and 24.3 mil in width. So uh, extremely, extremely small indeed. Now we do have a spring-loaded 510 there, and also just over a 22 mil catch cup for your 22 mil atomizers. Nice switch on the front, very, very clicky indeed. Start it up, and you actually get the modder's last name there, Olk or OLC. SX350 chip upgraded to 60 watts there. Have a mini USB on the side for charging and upgrading, and also your switches, your tactile switches for changing your wattage. Little delay on it, as you can see there, when you're not actually just stepping up, when you're shooting down, it does have a second delay there. So, nothing major, just uh, something that I noticed anyway. And also, what's quite cool about this. Is you can actually remove the 510 
Um, now if you see these screws here, we've got some Phillips screws at the back. These top two actually hold the negative in place, your battery sleeve and also your 510 at the top here. So if I just unscrew them a fraction, don't have to take them all the way out. Just loosen them up. Put my atomizer in. And that will remove the 510 there, as you can see. And if I want to position my sort of air holes at the front, I just push that back in. Say like that, so my air holes are facing at the front. Tighten it back up. And my air holes will always be where I want them, at the front there. In any position that you want them anyway. Which is quite nice for those of you with a bit of OCD and like your air holes to be wherever you want them to be. So yeah, all in all, good looking little device. Absolute fingerprint magnet though, as you would uh, probably guess, and uh, very prone to scratching. So uh, be careful with it. Um, it's one of them that I wouldn't remember, uh, recommend taking out on the piss. Um, but yeah, all in all, incredibly small. I mean, almost the same size as the atomizer I've got on the top of it now. Uh, you know, if you're using a nice little dripper or just one of them tiny little RDAs that rule out at the moment, it, uh, it looks incredibly well. Extremely stealthy there with the micro dripper on the top. Incredibly small, good looking little piece. Nice deep engraving, the stratum now. And you do have a little serial number on the bottom. This one is number 72. As you can see there, there's a couple of scratches already from where it's been sat down, even after a week. So uh, it's just something to be extremely mindful about. That is a pain in the ass, but a beautiful looking device, great material to use. It's just really treat it, treat it with a bit of love. So there you have the Stratum Lux from Victor Hulk. So there you have the Stratum Lux. And as you can see, tiny tiny little 18650 regulated mod i mean really is small uh it was smaller than the vapor shark or pretty much most things that i've used especially in the high-end scene uh, a mod of this power anyway it is extremely small and stealthy handsome little device as well uh really looks quite unique and different to pretty much anything else out there so uh hats off to them for trying something completely different um, love the mod itself, I, I think it's great, um, I really do, I think it is quite unique and uh, really is quite cute and lovely. Um, the Lux version, however though, is an absolute fingerprint fucking nightmare. Now, if you do struggle from that sort of OCD, where you have to have every shine mod you've got constantly in your t-shirt, cleaning it, then uh, this is probably one of the biggest culprits I've ever come across. It really is non-stop. You know, you would never want to cause, uh, commit a crime using this mod because uh, you'll be nicked with the amount of fingerprints that are on it. Uh, it's just unbelievable. And also extremely prone to scratching as well. I had this, I've had this a week, um, had a barbecue the other night and um, it was put down a couple of times and it's already received a few little sort of scratches or blemishes on the bottom as well. So it really isn't one you want to take out on the piss down a pub with your mates um or sort of just throw in your pocket anyway it, it is very prone to scratching because of the nickel material that's been used however there are a couple of other um the, the designs of this there's one called the stratum al which is a black aluminium version the frame itself is made from the same material as this particular sleeve here so it's fully black and uh, aluminium so not prone to fingerprints and not as prone to scratching as the nickel version and there's also a plastic version as well now i don't know too much about this um, but it seems to be that the modders got to, there was there's two different types of modders for the stratum they obviously came together at one point and then have gone their separate ways now one of the modders does the plastic version and it's now Victor Olk who does the Stratum Lux, which I believe stands for luxury, and the uh, Stratum AL, which is the black version as well. So if you are 
dead against the idea of this being a fingerprint magnet and prone to scratching and you just you want something to take out and about with you i'd suggest trying to go for the uh, aluminium black version because this one you really will have to take care of it you know me personally it's probably not leaving the house now it's going to be sat here by my computer desk on my mouse mat um or maybe even on a pillow you know just to keep it safe because it is it, it will be prone to all sorts if you uh if you fuck about with this let's take a quick blast Yep, I mean, it's got everything you need. That mini USB for charging. It's got the SX350 chip. You've got a spring-loaded 510 if you can't be bothered with all that fucking adjusting. You've got just over a 22mm slightly indented catch cup at the top for your 22mm mods. Um, it takes one eighteen six fifty, so you're going to get proper uh, plenty of battery life out of it. Um, it's got switches as well if you don't like using that tilt function on the SX, which I don't, so that's really cool. And it's a very handsome and very discreet little mod. I really do like it indeed. Um, very impressed with it. Uh, only one little issue, and that's just on a bit of the machining at the top there by the... Um, those sort of little indents, those sort of little grills that we've got going on for, for aesthetic. There's a just a little bit of sort of bad aesthetic design now where it's just a little bit scratched um, where it's been machined. But it, you can't notice it unless you're looking right up close. Um, the rest of it is done absolutely to perfection. It's really, really nice indeed. Now, to get one of these, it's on a Facebook group, unfortunately, or vape auctions, because uh, they always seem to be on fucking vape auctions. I don't know if that's the modders themselves or what, but the vape auctions should be called Stratum Auctions, because there are a shitload of these on there quite often. But um, I'll put the link for the Facebook group in the description. I'm not sure whether it's closed or secret at the moment, so you'll have to check that for yourself. Um, but there are lists coming out for these, for both versions from that particular modder. That's the AL version and the Lux. Uh, and the Lux goes for $495. And that includes the mod itself, the two sleeves, the nickel sleeve, which will never ever be used, uh, and the black aluminium sleeve as well. It includes the shipping and PayPal fees. And one other thing I would like to mention as well, these are shipped out via Russian Post and they are as slow as fuck. I mean, this took three weeks to get to me. I have known some other people it's taken up to five weeks, even three weeks before it left Russia. They're notoriously slow, so uh, you need to be patient when they are shipping these out. Um, but yeah, $495, which I believe is around £320. So that's not too bad. I mean, this is completely different. It's not a C-frame. It's not a stabilized wood mod if you're sick of them um it is something completely different and unique and extremely small and discreet and uh quite pretty as well so you know if you fancy getting your hands on one of these best thing to do is either check the group or vape auctions themselves but yeah really nicely made mod really nicely made mod indeed um i do like it it is a keeper for me because it is so different because it is so small and um and cute you know i'm a sucker for cute so uh yeah it really is quite nice indeed but like i said before if you can't handle fingerprints, if you can't handle having it there with your t-shirt all day and all night when using it because of fingerprints, then I would suggest going for the Black AL version if you do like this mod in, in particular um, because it would drive you absolutely insane. But there you go. Uh, what's more to say? Uh, 18650, nickel, nickel plated, um, two sleeves, nickel and uh, black aluminium. Um, tactile switches for the SX chip to change your wattage. SX350 upgraded to 60 watt. Spring loaded 510 with the uh, capabilities of adjusting that 510 to get your air holes where you want them. Uh, nice deep engraving with a strap in there, mini USB port, uh, and a partridge in a pear tray. So thank you very much for watching this review, and I will see you on the next one. Stay safe.